Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to introduce to you guys, the newest member to our family is Mrs. Prickles here, or Pac-Man. Um, when we originally got her, my son had originally wanted to get a boy one, but when we saw her, he did actually pick her and she was out running around and she happened to be a girl. So from Pac-Man to Mrs. Prickles. Anyways, here is a better look at Mrs. Prickles. AKA Mrs. Pac-Man. I don't want her to fall off the desk here because she is exploring away, but this is what a hedgehog looks like and she is cute. She is spiny. They can poke, but it does not really hurt too bad. It's just a defense mechanism and once you pick her up from the bottom, she will not hurt you, but I just wanted to show you guys her. So we put Miss Prickles back in her cage because it is daytime and they are nocturnal, so she was a little bit grumpy and really didn't want to do anything but explore and I was afraid she would fall off my desk so we put her back in her cage where she could be safely but anyways guys this is a Target dollar spot haul and I also have a few things from Michaels and Hobby Lobby I think to show you guys but let's get started with my Target dollar spot stuff now things are still trickling in there to my shop my store and that section is always you know it's ever-changing but I've noticed a lot of things coming in and every time I've stopped in there since then I've found more things so I wanted to go ahead and haul these for you guys before like I said they're all gone or you could keep an eye out too. The first thing I want to share with you guys is this cute wooden sign here and it is a good size. This was part of the $3 bin items and it is a 31 in the wooden cutout things here and it's got a gold spider so their numbers I should have said numbers <laughs> cut out numbers and these probably will be displayed here on my desk or possibly up on one of my pot shelves but I wanted to share with you that these are actually a good size I'd say they're about 9 to 11 inches tall these black numbers and I just like that they have a little bit of distress going on the edges there and I love the gold paint of the spider dripping down they had something else but I don't remember what it was but I definitely picked up the 31 because Halloween so that will go in here somewhere I also, guys, this is so cute. Now, this was like a last minute. I just spotted this and it was by itself. Now, there are different ones. There's like a mummy and I think a spider. But it is a little black cauldron and it says it's a candy dish. But this is going to be my Halloween pen cup. So for my Halloween season, I'm going to put all my cute little pens and whatnots in here for this time of year. Give my planner girls a break. So I think this will be really cute to have all my pens and stuff in. So this will be on my desk for now. My little cauldron with all my pens inside of it. Too cute, right? There's a, the mummy one didn't really look that great. I just happened to really like the cauldron. It's simple and black. So I got this one and I'm not gonna put candy in it. So super cute on that. And that was the last one I seen of that. Um, another thing I picked up that I hadn't seen prior is this metal skull banner. So he is also going to come here in my office with me because my the rest of my house is already filled up. So it says it's a skull garland, and this was in the three dollars section. I think it's because it is actual metal pieces and they're die cut. They look like corrugated, like how cardboard kind of is. So I might spruce this up by maybe gluing some of those gold and black spiders from the 99 cent store along here. Something to make it fit in my office, so I did want to share that with you guys. And I also picked up a pack of these super cute black cat erasers. I do usually include these in little friend mails or scatter them. I just think they're really super cute just to add a little cute touch to your packages or maybe on the desk. I don't know, they're kind of small, but I really like them a lot. I also picked up these cute little candy erasers. There are some matching stickers to this set. I don't know if I show them to you guys. Let me see if I have them handy. Oops, let me stir the stay still. I have a mess everywhere, guys. I'm trying to organize and all that stuff at the same time is tough. <sighs> okay, so I don't know if I did haul these already or not. I think I may have shown them, but um, I think the candies on there match, do they? I don't know. There's a some sticker that I did haul that has those candies on it, so I'm sure that's why I got those. Mom duties called, so I had to go see what the boys needed from me really quickly. So to continue on in the Target dollar spot, I did find these um hanging <clears throat> in like the stationery and stickers area, and they are little cute sticky notes. 
and this says just a note and then you get a stack of the little small stickies and then these bigger ones here I think there was four sets but these are the first two I grabbed just because the colors stuck out to me and then this one says eek caution with the little skull there and then the bat so I could probably definitely use these in my planner soon or just to write little notes to people so I picked those up and then also I finally came across the little individual packs of the trim and here is a faux this one's a faux leather kind of like a patent looking trim here and it is what is this actually being called it's being called leather ribbon so I thought that was cute for a dollar just to have and then I got the black and gold of course Baker's twine is what this one usually yeah this one is Baker's twine and I think you get kind of a lot on here it says 10 yards so that's good for a dollar and then this one's just kind of like a metallic shimmery uh, Rick Rack. Is that what it, yep, Rick Rack is what this one's called. And let me see how much this one came with. I'm gonna dig my nails in here and get this out. Try not to rush too fast, guys. It's just the boys are freaking out. They want to get out of the house. So I knew I needed to get these before we go anywhere else searching for stuff. We needed to get this. Mm, I needed to get these videos done. This one is also four yards. I don't know why. Sometimes my phone won't focus, but it could be the writing. Yeah, the writing on there is really small. So you get four yards of that one as well. So I picked up those. The next items were still in the dollar spot, but they are not Halloween. And then the last item I'm going to show you is Halloween, but it is a clothing item. Okay, so this is the Tsum Tsum Little Erasers. And these are a good size eraser. This is the only ones that I found. I thought they were so cute. I had to get them. And these were a dollar. And then I also did find the Tsum Tsum mini sticky note set with the little stitch there and the, what's it called, sticky notes here and then the little page flags there. I know there's a pack of stickers. I'm still hunting for that. I really wish I'd find that, but I have not come across it yet. And then the last item I picked up in the stationery was the Shopkins little sticky pad set. So it comes with a sticky pad, a little tiny sticky note there, and then the two flags there. And the last item from Target that I will be showing you guys is a shirt that I thought was way too cute to pass up. And it was hanging in the juniors area, or where they kind of have all of the um, seasonal clothing that they put out. And this was just way too cute. I had to have this. It says, let me get, see if I can get it out for you. Don't be <laughs> a basic witch <laughs> so I just thought this was too cute it definitely is right up my alley we don't do anything basic around here that's for dang sure if we're riding a broom it's going to be a black and gold broom and so on and so forth so I thought this was way too cute and it is still warm here where I'm at so a little muscle tank would be really cute I could wear this to Zumba or I would actually wear this with a pair of jean shorts or some leggings all over the place I had to get this it was selling out quick because I usually am between a medium and a large and there were mediums left but it just didn't feel like there was enough room for my biscuits so I went with a large and this was the last large that I could find and they had a few other styles but I wanted to get this one before it was gone. The other one that that I wanted to pick up had a bunch of ghosts and it says if you got it, um, haunt it and I thought that one was right up my alley too so I wanted to share this with you guys in case you guys like wearing cute stuff like this during the holiday season. Like I'll wear stuff like this when we go to any haunted houses around here in town or when we go to like the pumpkin patch or um, they always have little festivals so I thought this would be cute so I definitely picked this up and this was let me see here $12.99 so that's not too bad and the next items I'm going to show you are actually from Michaels I didn't really get too much from Michaels but I did want to share with you the other two <laughs> paper pads I picked up I know what you're thinking I already know what you're thinking like girl did you need any more paper but I don't have anything gray and it was five dollars so I couldn't pass it up this is the gilded gray stack I yay took off the little stickies there so I can kind of show you what was in here and I hadn't seen this one before in the five dollar area during I think they started that sale on Sunday or Monday the lowest prices of the season sale and all of our butts have been back in there again they're just baiting us guys and we are just just falling for the traps but you know what I don't even care don't even care as long as they're giving us good deals I will continue to go <sighs> the 
struggle is real. Anyways, here are some of these papers. I'm gonna try to get through this because the boys are getting antsy. They went upstairs by themselves and it is way too quiet. And if you're a mom, you know that is not good. Quiet is not good. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what kind of disaster awaits me up there. But for the meantime, I'm gonna show you these few paper stacks I picked up and then I will get my butt ready to go for the day. So what do you guys think? Have you picked up all the new um, $5 paper stacks that they've put out? I mean, I've there's only a couple so far that I'm missing. So I'm, I'm sure I'll eventually get them, but I'm just trying to take it easy and not overdo it. <laughs> this one, I saw the little acorns in the fox here. Um, said the acorns in the foxes is what drew me to this paper stack. Normally this isn't my particular taste and colors, but I am building up my collection and trying to get a uh, vast array or a wide array of <laughs> selections to use. I don't know what the heck I'm trying to say right now, but I just want to have lots of options when I want to make something. I won't have to go searching, but I really thought the papers in here were pretty cute. Like that one was really cute. Kaden. And yeah, look at there. Just, there is some glitter on these and I thought that the little yellow glitter on some of these flowers is absolutely adorable. Now I am being stalked. <laughs> I better hurry my butt up. But anyways, this one had some cute paper, so it was worth getting. I like the little foxes. He is cute. I wish I had a page with just acorns. That would be cute too. But there are three of each style in here. My munchkins are coming in. I'm going to show you the ones from Hobby Lobby. Next papers are from Hobby Lobby. And I had seen that I didn't actually show this one to you guys. So because I included Twinkie, Twinkie, because I included Mrs. Pac-Man in the beginning of this video, I thought I would show you guys this little paper stack that has hedgehogs in it. And I could have sworn I showed this, but I was looking back and I hadn't, I had it stashed over to the side and did not show it. So this was purchased during the time where the paper studio was either half off or the paper pads now are all half off at Hobby Lobby. But there's cute little trailers, turtles. I don't know why they always associate the hedgehog with the like woodland kind of thing because they're kind of like shrubs and they're kind of always out. But it's still cute anyways that they get some little attention, you know, during this time of year. So there is Mrs. Pac-Man there and bicycles and lots of little fun camping stuff. So this was a fun one. And then the one I picked up yesterday, sorry, I just turned to the side, was this Christmas one. I don't have any Christmas stacks, so I thought while well, this was half off, was a good time to grab it. And it was half off of $17. Okay, so time is of the essence. I'm going to try to get through this paper pad before any more screaming happens. I'm sorry, guys. And here is, let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. There we go. Okay, time is of the essence. I need to hurry myself up. They are getting way too crazy. They're at that weird stage where they are just picking on each other and fighting over every little thing. I'm sure if you're a mom, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They'd rather fight it out over a piece of broken toy than just leave each other alone. It's funny, but it's not. Oh, anyways, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the papers in his pretty little um, Christmas paper stack that I picked up in the little section, not with the actual paper. It was. It was in the little seasonal Christmas section they have near the paper area with all the stickers and all that. So I thought this one was cute and different. I love this. And I think they give you three or four. It looks like they give you four. I love this one too. I think I can do a lot with this. And I have a Christmas pocket letter scheduled already, which is really awesome. I'm excited because I have not made any Christmas. I haven't even made a Halloween one yet. But I felt like this paper stack gave me a lot to choose from and a lot of basics to have um, that would be handy. So I thought this one was a good deal on my first Christmas paper pad. So that's awesome. There's the plaid. And this is really cute. It's very traditional, kind of woodsy like. I like it. I had another one, but I'm going to go back for that one. I think I was just, like I said, I was like two at a time. It's not too bad. This page is super cute. Now I wish some of these would have had some glitter or something, but none of the Christmas ones seem to have any foil or glitter going on in the Hobby Lobby's Christmas ones. Not that I've seen, not yet. That's super cute. They're ice skating. And then there's a buffalo check. 
And then that one reminds me of the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation <laughs> with the Christmas tree on top of the car there. Only they had a station wagon. And this really, really, really cute, good mixture of papers in here. So this one for being only a $16.99 and half off, I thought that one was a steal. And it's not that really thin paper. It's actually thick cardstock. So I definitely picked that up. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that right there. And then the other two items I picked up were these really cute little felt um, scarecrows. And they were 40% off right now. And then I can't remember I showed you these leaves, but I thought these are really cute with the little buttons. And they're like different colored little fall leaves. So those are also 40% off. That is it, guys, for my craft haul. I wasn't too bad. This was picked up over multiple trips. I'll keep telling myself that. But anyways, I hope you will subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Also, don't forget to share. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. I hope you guys are shopping too.